The tuba has a beautifully rounded, deep and soft sound. It is more mellow than people realise. There are some banging tuba moments in jazz and in orchestral music, including John Williams's Concerto for Tuba and Orchestra. From Kennan and Grantham's technique of orchestration, for such a large instrument the tuba is perhaps more agile than might be expected, though there are definite limits to the speed and complexity of the parts it can play, double and triple tonguing are entirely feasible. The tuba tone can be unusually velvety and pleasant in soft passages, robust and exciting in forte or a fortissimo. It differs from the trumpet and trombone in being rounder and less cutting. The most frequent use of the tuba in the orchestra is as a bass for the brass section, but it can also be used to strengthen the double basses or lower woodwinds. Here's what it sounds like solo. And now compared to the more direct sounding bass trombone. It's very different, isn't it? Underneath the trombone section, the tuba sounds deep and beautiful. Here is what the bass trombone sounds like under the same example. I love how the tuba has a really deep and low quality. It sounds like it's an octave lower than the bass trombone. The tuba's mellow sound sounds great with the mellow French horns. Here it is with the French horns above. And here's that same example with a bass trombone on the bottom. It's vastly different. I like how the bass trombone is easy to pick out so you can hear its line and contrary motion more clearly. This is something to keep in mind when choosing between the tuba and bass trombone. When more instruments start to join in, it can be helpful to double the tuba so that part has enough volume. Here's the tuba alone with three trombones and four horns above. Doubling the tuba with a bass trombone is an obvious choice. In a jazz setting, Doubling it with the contrabass pizzicato is a good idea too.
There are countless examples of the tuba doubling the double basses in low woodwinds. So here's a couple of doublings in a jazz setting that Gil Evans often used. And by the way, I already have a couple of videos about the tuba on my channel. And these directly relate to how Gil Evans used the tuba in his work. If you haven't seen them, I've put some links in the description. The mellow tuba blends well with the dark woodiness of the bass clarinet. Have a listen. <laughs> As I mentioned earlier, doubling it with a pizzicato bass adds a nice edge and attack to the sound. Well that's it for this video, feel free to check out those other tuba videos and leave any questions or comments down below.